Hello, my name is Anita Potter from Anita Potter Productions, and today I'm going to show you how to create custom actions in Reaper. One of the biggest reasons why you want to create custom actions is to streamline your workflow. And today I'm going to show you how I make a stereo track out of two tracks, one left, one right. Making this custom action, it will put both the left and right onto one track, turning them into a stereo track, and then panning them left and right. That'll help keep your track count down and clean up your session files. So I'm going to show you how I did it from the beginning before I started using custom actions. I'm going to select, tr double click on track overhead left one, then I'm going to hold down shift and double click the second track. I'm going to go to the actions window and show actions list. Now I need to implode them both into a single track. So I'm going to search for implode. You'll need the SWS extensions in order to do this. And I'll put a link in the description below. I need to implode items to takes and pan symmetrically. So I'm going to select that and run. As you can see, there are two takes, but the panning isn't set yet. I will, that'll be the last thing I do but you can select the left and the right. You can select left and right and affect them differently if you wanted to. You also don't have to create a stereo track out of two tracks if you have issues with one of the tracks. If one of them ended up being way more dynamic than the other one, then you'll have to treat that one completely different and you'll leave those as separate tracks. These tracks are fairly identical, so that's why I'm doing it with this. Next, I really, I really don't want to select left and right on these. So I'm going to find glue. I need to glue them together into one track. Glue items ignoring time selection. I'm going to select that and click run. And you can see it's just one track. But we've got one more thing we have to do to it. I want to pan them symmetrically. So I'm going to search for dual pan. Select it and run. And the panning over on the left side is now left and right. Which also, you also have an empty track down here. So you can just press delete and it'll get rid of that. As you can see, that took a chunk of time to do. And if you want to work quickly, that ain't going to cut it. So we're going to create a custom action. So I'm going to go up here to the actions list and I'm going to show actions. Down on the bottom right, custom actions, I'm going to click on new. And all those things I just selected beforehand, I'm going to put into a custom action. So we're going to implode. And pan symmetrically. Going to, going to hold the mouse and drag it over into there. Next, we're going to look for glue. We're going to glue items, ignoring time selection, drag it over. Then our dual panning, and drag it over. After you get all of your action items dragged over to this area over here, you're going to want to show it in your actions menu. So you're going to select this box down there. Come up here, and you're going to give it a name. Stereo... Click OK, and it'll show up in your at the top of your actions list. So I can close this dialog box now, and I'll show you how quickly you can do this. I'm going to take the next set of left and right tracks, double-click the first one, hold down Shift, double-click the second one. Go to Actions. There's Custom Actions, and we created Stereo Tracks. So I'm going to click on that, and it's automatically going to run. Finished. Delete the empty track. Go on to the next two. Actions. Stereo tracks. Delete that one. Select that. Stereo tracks. 
at least the empty track. And I just took eight tracks and condensed them down into four stereo left and right, which I can change. You can change the panning on them if you don't want them full 100% left and right. Making custom actions will completely increase your workflow and keep your session files clean. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I will do my best to answer them. Um, if you have any other questions or something you may want to see me do, uh, make a video of, let me know below as well. And I'll see you in the next video.